concepts of application of trigonometry. In order to apply the knowledge of trigonometry in measuring the heights of objects, we must know the meaning of certain terms. These terms are the line of sight, the angle of elevation and the angle of depression. Let us learn about each of these terms in detail. Click each tab to know more. Concepts of application of trigonometry To understand line of sight, let us understand the term by considering some examples. One day, Vijaya got an idea to find the height of a palm tree which is in the backyard of her home. She tried to locate the topmost point of the tree. So the line joining the topmost point and her eye is called line of sight. Let us consider one more situation. Line of sight. Here an imaginary line joining the child's eye to the plane in the sky is called the line of sight. Some other examples of line of sight from our daily life situation are A girl looks at the top of a tree. Transmission of a signal from the transmitter to the receiver etc. Now, let us learn about the term angle of elevation. The angle of elevation of a point viewed is the angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal when the point being viewed is above the horizontal level of reference. That is the case when we raise our head and look up to view the object. For example, consider the situation where a boy Suresh is standing in a boat. He looks up to see his friend Ramesh standing on the edge of a nearby cliff. The formation of the angle of elevation is shown on screen. The line diagram of angle of elevation is as shown. Angle of Depression the angle of depression from a point of observation on the object being viewed is the angle formed by the line of sight with the horizontal when the viewed object is below the horizontal level. That is the case when we have to lower our head to look at the object of interest. For example, consider the previous scenario. Now, let Ramesh standing on the edge of the cliff saw his friend Suresh standing on the boat. The formation of angle of depression is shown on screen. The line diagram for angle of depression is as shown. Let us consider one more scenario for understanding angle of depression. Let us assume a girl is standing on the top of a school building. She wants to find the distance of borewell from the top of building. Here we have to observe the base of the borewell. Then from the figure we observe that the line of sight from the girl's eye to the base of borewell is below the horizontal line. Therefore angle of depression is defined as the angle between the line of sight and horizontal line. Note that if A and B are two points and if B is at a higher level than A, the angle of depression of A from B is always equal to the angle of elevation of A from B. From centuries, trigonometry is being used by surveyors. Theodolites are the measuring equipment used to measure angle of elevation or depression in surveying process. For the surveying project, 
Great Trigonometric Survey, British India has built two large theodolites in 19th century. In Himalayas, the highest mountain peak in the world was discovered during this survey in 1852. Height of the peak was calculated by observing the peak from 160 kilometers distance and from six different stations. In 1856, this peak was named after Sir George Everest, who had commissioned and first used the Jain Theodolites. In the Museum of Survey of India in Dehradun, those Theodolites are kept for display.